Hey everybody, welcome back to the Boys in Blue. This is episode number 51, and today we are debuting 97 Corey Seager. This is from the Moonshot Program um, Home Run Derby Series card here. He's got pretty good contact, 112 versus right, 90 versus left, 115 power both sides. Clutch at 109, so versus lefties with runners in scoring position, that clutch is going to go ahead and boost his contact. Not great speed at 45, fielding arm accuracy, all that's pretty okay. Um, makes sense for the home run derby series card. They don't really care too much about those stats on those series of cards. Um, for the lineup purposes, we're going to go ahead and switch him out for Muncie. This is just going to be for this one game. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put him on the bench and get Muncie back in before set two ends. Um, Muncie's pretty close parallel five anyways, so just under 900 PXP to go. Um, in the lineup, I'm going to have him hitting six. So today's lineup is going to be Gavin Lux, Will Smith, Duke Snyder, Jock Peterson, Red turn to Seeger making his debut in the six. Piazza, Freddie Freeman, and JD Martinez running things off in the nine. Today on pitching, it's going to go ahead and be 97 Bobby Miller, set two card. Again, kind of somewhat approaching parallel five. Hopefully, you can get um, some good innings with him today, get closer to parallel five. So let's hop right into it and see who we're matching up with. Alrighty, we got matched up with our opponent. We're going to be the road team. Taking a look at my opponent's squad. He's got Otani, Acuna, Belly, Adley Rutschman, Vladdy, Jose Ramirez, Marcus Simeon, Kyle Tucker, Austin Riley, and then Cal Ripken hitting ninth. With that Cal Ripken can tier 3 boost, so his whole team is going to have plus 10 contact versus right, 15 versus left, um, and another boost set that I, I missed out on. But um, again, we're going to be the road squad. Let's take a look at where we're going. We're going to Shield Woods. Um, the ball flies here, so we are set up for a good matchup. Let's take a look at his record here. He is 26 and 20. We are 67 and 60. Pretty good matchups. He's got those baby blue Phillies jerseys. Those are sweet. Um, and we'll be hitting first, so we're going to have to go ahead and hit Otani. He's got the slur, fastball cutter, sinker, splitter. Let's see what he's rocking, and hopefully we can get the first hit of the game, maybe get some runs across here in the first. Would be nice. We're way behind the fastball there to start. Kind of a late swing, just late. Gavin Lux not going to beat that out, even though he has 96 speed. 105 off the bat, not a bad swing, not too mad about it. Going to go ahead and bring up Will Smith. Here is Ronald Acuna Jr., and of course, Bobby Miller on the bump. Like I said, first pitch swing in is Ronald. 91 speed. Going to be tough to make this play. He's going to be safe. It's going to be an infield single. Red turn two. Gives up the base hit on a sinker or a slider off the plate. But here is a sinker. Let's see if we can double him up. Get a nice little double play. It's going to be tough with 86 speed. He's going to be safe at first. But we do get the out at second. The lead runner is out. So I'll take it. Still in double play territory, especially with Adley Rutschman here. Adley does not have great speed, so I mean, if we can attract that double play, so that's going to be a really, really weak single. 73 off of the bat there. Ronald's going to make his way to third. So again, double play still in play with the runner at first, but just a really weak sinker and just enough to go ahead and sneak through. Here's Vladdy. I'm going to give him a splitter. Whiffing on it. 0-1. I guess he actually fouled it off. And let's give him the slider. Not a great one. Does put it in play, and most likely a double play here, and it is, so not a perfect inning. We give up two hits, but with no runs across, let's hit, and let's have Seager make his debut. Two down. Here's Seager making his debut, 97 overall. Let's see if we can get that first hit of the game on our side of things with our debut, man. Typically, and I said this before, typically struggle with players in their debut, um, and then, you know, get a couple games in, get used to their swings. Um, and then we start raking with them. So that might be the case in this one. That was going to be off Otani. Seager, 45 speed. It's going to be safe. I don't know if they're going to call that an error or a base hit. I think they're calling base hit. Game kind of froze. Let's take it. Maybe base hit. Maybe not a base hit. And Piazza is going to go ahead and just push that right back at him. I actually do think they did call that a base hit. So for now, it stands. We get the first hit of the game. And it is right there. We have one hit. Corey Seager getting a hit in his debut. Kind of a weird one, but I'll take it. So no opportunity for him to swing there. And he's going to go ahead and put that one and play 106 off the bat. And I take a really bad route to the ball. I thought I was on it, but I guess I wasn't. It's probably going to be a triple for Adley Rutschman. Let's see, maybe we can hose him. He's out at third. Let's go. It would have been a double if he stayed, but some perfect throws from center field and short is going to work for out number one. And Vladdy goes yard one pitch later. It wasn't a great sinker. Caught a lot of the plate. And just like that, we are down 1-0. Vladdy goes deep. 394 on the distance. Yeah, again, that sinker just caught a lot of the plate. I wanted that to be more in on the hands. J-Ram's going to go ahead and foul that off. So we find ourselves down 
here in the bottom of the fourth with a you know a good amount of time to go ahead and make up some ground try and get on the scoreboard as well let's see if we can go ahead and get him out again instead he's gonna go ahead and get a weak hit and it is gonna score a run let's see if I can get the out at second not gonna happen it's gonna be a two out double for Austin Riley on just a little fluky 78 off the bat and let's see if I can blow this fastball by him for out number three Gets a lot of the plate, but it does work for a strikeout. We'll take it. Opponent does get another run on a good amount of hits there. He's got seven hits, up 2-0, and I've got two hits with no runs. Here's Corey Seager. One for one. Good take there on a splitter. 1-0. Let's see if we can get to Otani in this inning. Get on the scoreboard. Foul off the sinker. 1-1. One one. I feel like I have not been locating with my PCI very well recently. On a recent stream, one guys, one of the guys down in chat was saying maybe I should change up my PCI. Could be a good idea, you know. We're, you know, freshen things up a little bit, make some change. Going down, swinging on a sinker. Last second, thought maybe it would hit the zone. Probably would have been a ball if I didn't swing. Let's see if I can get that slider where I wanted it. I do kind of get a little bit closer to where I wanted, it, but he does make contact for out number one. A nice little liner, two jocking left, 91 off the bat. Got to bring up Cody Bellinger. 0 for 2 in this one. Let's make that 0 for 3. Instead, he's going to go 1 for 3. He's got going yard here. Doc Peterson not going to rob that. We're down 3-0. 87 off the bat. 364 on the distance. Not a great swing, but again, Shield Woods, high elevation. That sinker below the zone gets just enough on it. I mean, honestly, it's a great swing because that was a great pitch. Next pitch, Ali's going to go ahead and ground out on a slider. Two down. No foul off that cutter. Again, just really late on a lot of pitches, which is not ideal. Down to our last strikeout, or his last strike with Gavin Lux. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in play. 93 off the bat, just late. This is probably going to be out number two. And Gavin Lux goes yard. We're actually going to go ahead and get a run. We'll take it. His 19th of the year, 4-11 on the distance. Not my best swing, but here at Shield Woods, that will play. We get our first run of the game, and Will Smith... Good swing on that cutter. Get over the wall, baby. It's going to be off the wall. We'll go ahead and take extra bases. I'm going to go ahead and get him over to third. It's a good throw. But he is safe following the homer. We'll take a triple. We'll have another runner in scoring position for Duke Snyder. Can make it a one-run game with one swing in the bat. Can also tie the game with one swing in the bat. Good swing on that fastball just late. A little bit earlier, maybe we'd push that over the fence. 0-1 on Duke. And Duke Snyder got to keep that fair, man, just early. So two good swings for Duke, but now he's 0-2. Let's see if we can straight something out and bring in that run. Instead, we're actually going to go ahead and strike out. Not ideal. As our potential last chance. Good sinker, 0-1. Again, this time we're actually early on it, but we are on top. Duke, perfect. Not a perfect, perfect, but it is a no doubter. We'll take it. 93 off the bat. I just saw the no doubt animation and I just kind of assumed perfect, perfect. But Duke goes yard. 406 on the distance. We are down by one run with Jock Peterson up at the plate. And he crushes people. If he can get on one here, we'll have a tie ball game. Good fastball to swing at. 0 and 1. Late on it and under. Let's see where he goes here. Good take. 1 and 1. 106 contact, 125 power, and he steps off. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta not swing at that slider. That would have been three and one, but instead two and two with one gone, nobody on. Following the Duke Snyder homer, I flinched at it. Three and two, so base hit our ball four here would be great for us. Trying to prevent out number two gets the fastball bias. I really thought I was gonna time that up well. Yeah, way too late. Two down. If I timed it up perfectly though, it would be a tie ball game. Great take on a cutter, 1-0. And instead, it's going to be out number three. A nice little fly ball. Two center field. GG's to my opponent. Not a well-played game by me at all. Um, it's a bummer. But hey, we get a hit in Corey Seager's debut. Welcome to the team. 97 overall. Set three, Corey Seager. Bobby Miller going to get recorded for the loss. Gave up 11 hits. But hey, we did a pretty good job at getting out of the jams. A couple double plays. Good strikeouts, good pop-outs, and um, we'll take it. Did get two walks, which is not typically normal for us. Otani is recorded for the win. Again, 
Corey Seager, welcome to the team. We got Gavin Lux, Duke Center, went yard in that one. Not too bad. We made it close at least, which I appreciate. Corey Seager goes parallel one. JD Martinez goes parallel three. You love to see that. Gavin Lux really closing in on parallel five. Hopefully we can get that done today in stream. Alrighty, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Look ahead for more Boys in Blue content. Look ahead for some live streams. We've been streaming recently. been a ton of fun playing ranked games, playing games against subs. We're going to start to do some BR. Got to earn the 99... Corey... Not Corey. Got to earn the 99... Dustin May... Big Red... Um, from the BR program. So look ahead to that. That should be fun. But like I said, let's get to go ahead and do it. I'll catch y'all later.